example here, we want to find the volume of another solid uh, generated by revolving the region bounded by x equals y squared plus 1, x equals 3, x-axis, and the about the x-axis. So let's go ahead and draw this. So we have x equals 3. That means our bound stops right here. And we have x equals y squared plus 1. So x equals y squared plus 1 looks like this. So right away we are forming a region and the x-axis as well. So here is our revolving region. And instead of revolving around the x-axis, let's revolve it around the y-axis. The y-axis. Because we haven't done that yet. So uh, we know that x equals y squared plus 1. So let's try to turn that into a y in, relationship, in terms of y. So y equals x minus 1. Uh, x equals three. So, when where do they where do they intersect? So solving for that, where do they intersect? Y squared plus one equals three. Y equals root two. Okay, so uh, we're revolving around the y-axis, so our shape will look something like this. looks kind of like a, a speaker facing upwards. So of course, we have to just keep with our method. So let's draw our washer. Uh, this is going to be a fairly large washer. So here's the outer radius of the washer. And here's the inner radius of the washer. And they both have a thickness. And then this will have a second inside radius. So we are looking at this. This becomes dy instead of our usual dx. So dy has two radiuses. The first one comes from uh, what's marked in blue, which is from this this function, which happens to be y, x equals y squared plus 1. And the second radius comes from uh, our x. It's just 3. So the second radius is always 3. So let's take a look at our volume. Just apply directly. Volume equals pi from 0 to square root of 2, 3 squared minus y squared plus 1 squared dy. So if we multiply this out, 0 square root of 2, 9 minus y squared minus 2y squared minus 1. Be careful when you substitute and not to lose uh, order of operations points. That would be silly. OK, so let's go ahead and do this in a row using a power rule. So pi times 9y minus y to the fifth. So y squared minus 2y squared. Oh, there should be a y to the four. Y, y to the four is 1 over 5y to the fifth minus 2 over 3y to the third minus y from 0 to square root of 2. And no need to solve this. This is just a calculator plug and chug problem. Um, I'm going to leave the setup as this. OK, so that was a, a look at various different forms of washer and disk method to solving for volume between 
uh, regions of revolving solids. As long as we keep in our heads clear which direction uh, we're integrating from and the bounds and the exact region and the radiuses of the disk and washer, uh, there shouldn't be many curveballs that they can throw at you on the AP exam. So that does it for revolving solids. Thanks for watching educator.com. We'll see you in the next lesson.